same ending as the first one. I think blues camp is just a block of time where I can kind of, you know, I can go there to kind of escape and learn and just learn really cool stuff. For like five, six days, people can just go around and take classes and learn from these incredible people who are almost direct lines ethnically related to the blues. Like anything, if you break it down into small enough chunks, it's, it's possible to, to learn. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Jams at Blues Camp, they're definitely fast. You gotta know how to pick up songs. We were just jamming, having fun, and that's really the best part of Blues Camp is <laughs> just being in that, in, in Culture Bears, in their, um, in their space. options with what you can do with your right hand. I actually like to play with my thumb sort of on the front of the cone because it acts as a nice hinge. Here comes a five. Down to four. Right, it's like, the, the thing about the harmonica is like, if you can make one little simple note sound good, you know? Yeah. He's walked me through blues bass in a way that I just never had before. He was, he's always been super patient with me, but also like, come on, come on, Fred, you know, you can do this. And it's like, damn right I can. If Rodrigo says I can and he shows me how to do it, then I sure as hell should be able to. Fingers and just simplify it. Like what Cyrus is doing with just the two fingers. Right. I don't know if Lillian wants to play. Uh, I solos. Do you like solo 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 solo? solo? I'm not. Well, you're gonna have to be on the stage, so. You should. Yeah. Here is definitely special in Port Townsend, the city. It's the reason I come back here year after year. I know uh, for sure that relationships that you build with young people are really special. They don't forget it. Uh, I always uh, try to make a point to, to make it happen because that's the real deal. 